In today's video, I am going to be talking about how I have significantly reduced my anxiety levels by reducing the commitments that I have made and what I have committed myself to do in the next few months, weeks and years actually. So stick around if you want to learn more. girl thank you for showing up today if you are new here hi how are you my name is nombi and this is the show up with nombi where we are all about practicing self-love by showing up for ourselves we are gonna dream plan and do to a better life so what are we showing up for today I kind of want to say we are showing up for our mental health because this has a lot to do with not having anxiety right and not feeling overwhelmed all the time there is a quote by barbara hemphill that says that clutter is nothing more than postponed decisions and postponed decisions lead to procrastination and procrastination leads to continuous anxiety and that is exactly where i found myself with a lot of the stuff that i have committed to right i found that i had recommitted to my goals about a week two weeks ago i shared a video where i was like i'm not coping and i'm giving myself 12 weeks to just snatch my life back and just fetch my life and fetch my spunk basically and i soon come to realize that um i'm very anxious right and i was trying to figure out why i'm so anxious and that is because my environment is pretty noisy my environment is loud and i have five million things screaming for my attention and that causes me not to focus and that causes me to procrastinate and postpone everything and just basically be in a panic state all the time so i had to deal with this and that's exactly what i have done and i'm still doing i am just basically decluttering my environment and the first place i decided to choose was my commitments because everyone when they think about decluttering they immediately think about cleaning their house and everything but i realized my commitments were stressing me the f out to say the list to say the least so i'm just going to go through first what are my current commitments or what were my current commitments and just explain how that caused so much trauma basically it was an entire trauma all right i was stressed and just not getting any better all right so let me list all the roles i expected myself to play in my life just to give you context as to why sis over here was losing her shirt okay so firstly i have my regular job which has just gotten very complicated because my job was combined with another person's job so i'm doing two jobs i've got my regular job i've got my youtube videos i've got my lean course i'm doing a lean certification course i've got my i've got gym i wanted to dance in heels i've got yoga i crochet i wanted to start doing tiktok content and then i've got my side hustle and within my side hustle right there are four things i wanted to do i wanted to have a part where i do customized sewing for people and also have a boutique where i sell where i resell clothing that have i have curated um i wanted to also do a homeware section and i also wanted to do a rental section and then i also have a coaching course that i do and this is like a business coaching course so the business coaching course is offered by women enabled enterprises and in that course you learn more about running a successful business and then i had about three short courses i was doing um under this platform called udemy udemy is an online classes platform there i had a course on lean again why i have two lean courses <laughs> nobody knows I had a coaching course, a life coaching course that I wanted to do. And I also had a business course that I wanted to do. And then apart from that, right, I also have other things like my home, the upkeep of my home. I've got my family and I've got my friends and I've got my relationships. And that have subsequently taken a toll from this desire, this whole mess. 
so yeah as you can see guys that is a lot for one person and i mean when you look at that i came to realize how on earth did i expect myself to be able to deliver on anything because this list is too much it's too much and there is no way i'll be able to do everything to the best of my capabilities without having to consistently sacrifice something else or let something else fall through the cracks so this caused a lot of anxiety because and it caused a lot of distraction because i will be trying to work and then i remember oh crap i didn't do this oh crap i didn't do this and imagine within all of these things the regular things that happen in every everyday life like new situations that you find yourself in that you cannot uh, avoid all of this just caused an impending stress and a just like a ball of anxiety i was basically anxiety walking around by any moment i would break down in tears and i would just lose my mind so yeah i looked at this list and i was like damn something has to change so i'm gonna just go through the things i have done or the things i started doing to see that change in my life so the first thing that i had to do which i did was to look at what can completely fall off what are the things that are totally unnecessary and they can fall off and by doing so i actually realized that a lot of these things were fillers there were things i started using to compensate for why i was not able to do the things that i really wanted to do right so these were like overcompensating and they were very unnecessary and my i would not be phased if i actually got rid of these things so a lot of these things were the yoga crocheting the tiktok all the udemy courses so all those three udemy courses are gone i'm not doing that at all and within my business i decided to start focusing on one leg of my business so that i create a system that works so that when i scale up it's much more easier and it's much more better and i'm in a better space so i kept the customized sewing part and then um i just re-looked at how i gymmed so instead of wanting to gym seven days a week of which i never did so I, was, I always felt so guilty for not being able to do it i decided that i can practically go to gym over the weekends and then do some home workouts during the week and that actually makes me feel so much better and then there are things that are gonna fall off with the course of time if i commit myself to these things i'm gonna be done with them so for example my lean course i paid eight thousand five hundred for the thing so i was not about to let it go but i knew if i started actually committing my time to it and giving it the time of day it was gonna end and that was gonna actually make me feel better and will also make me feel like i've accomplished something um so yeah and then the other thing that I had to do was set some pretty solid boundaries. And let me tell you something. My problem is not with other people. My problem is with myself. I tend to overcommit. So I had to set boundaries with myself to say that, girl, you cannot be everything and everyone and every what to everyone. Manage your time. Be kind to yourself. Be a friend to yourself, you know. Don't put yourself in unnecessary stress by committing to things that you don't have to commit to. You don't have to be the one who brings cake at work. You don't have to be the one who stays till seven at work. And this actually helped me be in a better space by communicating my time and understanding these are the boundaries that I have. And this was more a conversation I had to have with me because oftentimes a lot of us women, we overcompensate and we want to show that we are great and that ultimately leads us to a place where we are just committing too much so setting those boundaries for example i have a four o'clock alarm at four my alarm rings at work and i know it's about to go i need, I need to go home okay i need to start heading out and if i can't i need to start wrapping up so that allows me to head out on time instead of being there like till six and just feeling like crap and then also other boundaries was just also having conversations with others and having conversations with myself and also starting to have guilt-free nothing time for example yesterday i did absolutely nothing i even told my husband wow i don't believe this i feel so funny but i felt 
good because it was not stolen time right yeah so just by doing that thing of reducing my list letting go of things that i absolutely don't need and setting boundaries for myself i have significantly reduced my anxiety i feel so much more better i feel less stress because i have reduced the demand that i have set for myself you know and that kind of makes me feel like i'm in a better space to execute because there isn't something that's boiling while i'm doing this because more often than not i would find myself distracted because as i'm busy trying to close out something at work i remember oh crap i needed to do research on that so that i know how to do youtube i know how to do tiktok videos better or i would go oh no i need to go buy wool for my crochet but it was putting myself under unnecessary stress so i hope that helps i hope that helps you and just you know tell me how you are gonna just reduce your commitments if there's anything you can take from this video is that you shouldn't overcommit because that is gonna lead to you not executing so honeys thank you so much for joining in and that is all i have for you this week and i just want to say i'm in a better place and i hope this helps you get into a better place yourself so please before we go don't forget to like and subscribe i'm currently sitting at 44 subscribers and i am absolutely grateful for each one of you please share with your friends share with your sisters and let us dream plan and do to a better life together guys i will see you next week okay bye <laughs>